Hello, my dear friends of the Cool Cathedral of St. John the Evangelist. I'm back here with Joseph, but you're going to notice something different because there's that beautiful pedestal that's been here since 2008 when uh, we were gifted and created this beautiful statue of Joseph with the baby Jesus. And I've had this thought for a while that it would be nice to take him off that pedestal in the beginning. We were a little afraid, you know, we didn't want him to get hurt or damaged or anything like that. But now it's clear that it's bronze and it's, it's so relational to have it down here. Like the Mary that's off the, uh, Mary in waiting that's off the chapel, there the shrine, her hands, people touch her hands. We encourage people to touch uh, John and Mary bronze, also Ricardo. So this art can really be meant for us to, to really be in connection. So in light of what Francis, what Francis has done in creating this year of Francis, then I wanted to, that we would take this step. So we begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. So I, I'm holding this uh, decree. I don't like to read to you, um, but I'm going to just read a little bit and then talk from it, this decree about the year of St. Joseph. Uh, the unnoticed worker, as I mentioned to you last week. So isn't that a beautiful title? You know, the unnoticed worker. So the dignity of work, a real worker in, in uh, blessing uh, Jesus, you know, and teaching him how to work as a carpenter and then what that meant. So the title of this um, is Patris Corde, With a Father's Heart. So Pope Francis is looking at uh, Joseph with a father's heart and about fatherhood. So he has a quote here from uh, St. Paul the Sixth. St. Joseph, in fact, concretely expressed his fatherhood by making an offering of himself in love, a love placed at the service of the Messiah who was growing to maturity in his home. The sense of fatherhood, you know, there's something so precious when someone can be a son and a daughter and experience fatherhood and to be generated by a father and to grow in maturity, as it states here that Jesus was growing uh, in maturity. Also that Joseph was teaching Jesus about his father, about his heavenly father, because ultimately Jesus surrenders to the father. It's true they are one, and very often we move, we move so quickly to make Jesus God. Of course he's born as God, but he had to come to a self-consciousness. So initially he's a boy and he grows in as a teenager and he grows into to manhood um, and he has a father and he experiences fatherhood then in relationship with God the Father. So this kind of slowly, gradually coming to know his call as the Son of God and the Son of Mary. And we could speak so long about Mary and her way to generate life in Jesus. And we have that incredible tradition that all the feasts we have about Mary. So it's not to minimize her at all, but now to have a little focus on Joseph. Then John Paul II said, Joseph is also a father in obedience to God with his fiat, he protects Mary and Jesus and teaches his son to do the will of the Father, called by God to serve the mission of Jesus. He cooperated in the great mystery of redemption and is truly a minister of salvation. So this Joseph, to be a minister of salvation, and you know, it's so beautiful, that message that came to Joseph at a certain moment with the angel, do not be afraid. He had reason to be afraid because Mary's pregnant and he's like, you know, this is a scandal and how am I going to get, you know, manage all of this? 
And in that message, do not be afraid. Because faith gives meaning to every event, however happy or sad. And it makes us aware. It states, God makes flowers spring up from stony ground. Joseph did not look for shortcuts, but confronted reality with open eyes and accepted personal responsibility for it. So this is the great year that we have in front of us. And the reason I'm really wanting to focus on this is, uh, you know, time. I don't want this to just, you know, next December 8th, because it started uh, on December 8th, and then it's going until December 8th of 2021. And so that we would do some precious awareness, prayer, reflection, on Joseph and his ministry of salvation. Uh, I was visiting with Deacon Randy today after Mass and saying, you know, we need to discover, and also the formation team with Margaret, we're looking at some, you know, certainly a prayer card, and we'll be looking at other ways, maybe to have some uh, little services and some ways of prayer and some ways to really say, we don't want to miss it. We don't want this just to to roll off like another thing that came and it went and it was okay, but we didn't do much. I want us to do much because this is important. And I can conclude um, with a prayer that Pope Francis is offering us. And I quote, first of all, from Pope Francis, two fathers refuse to live the lives of their children for them and instead respect their freedom in this sense, says Pope Francis, a father realizes he is most a father and an educator at the point when he becomes useless. Isn't that incredible? When he sees that his child has become independent and can walk the paths of life unaccompanied. Being a father, the Pope emphasized, has nothing to do with possession, but is rather a sign of pointing to a greater fatherhood, that of the Heavenly Father. And I invite you uh, to pray as, with me as you listen. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you, God entrusted his only son. In you, Mary placed her trust. With you, Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. You know, I encourage you to go online. If you just put in the year of St. Joseph, Google it, or the unnoticed worker, and uh, you'll, get, you'll see this decree from Francis, and uh, you can start to educate yourself a little bit about what is happening. So our dear friend, St. Joseph, pray for us. And Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. See you soon, wherever that might be.